expansion of Spectra Energy's natural gas pipeline. The project is called AIM. Nancy Van claims AIM cuts right through her private property. They took the easement here by eminent domain. We did not agree to them taking it. Chopper 4 was overhead as half a dozen protesters tried to stop the tree clearing, even climbing trees to halt the project. Nancy wants the woods preserved. She's also concerned about the environmental impact of having a natural gas pipeline next door. We're the ones that are paying the price for that with our health. Protesters also worry an accident on the pipeline could affect the Indian Point nuclear plant less than two miles away. There are pipeline accidents that happen across the country, and, uh, and, and if one happens here, it's catastrophic. Spectra Energy officials say they've asked protesters to stay away from the construction zone, adding, quote, the AIM project facilities are designed and will be constructed, operated, and maintained to meet or exceed federal safety standards and regulations. Safety is at the forefront of everything we do. First of all, we don't believe them, and second of all, we don't think that the federal regulations are adequate. But for now, the work on the pipeline is continuing. The protesters tell me they plan to ask the state legislature for help, and if that doesn't work, they plan to take the fight back to the courts. In Cortland, Michael George, News 4 New York. The general manager of the Yankees and hundreds of fellow business leaders slept on the streets to help raise awareness about homelessness. Brian Cashman took part in the nationwide sleep-out campaign last night.